Welcome to our virtual monument to Dr. Martin Luther King. My name is Judy Baca. And my name is Philip Matsikai. We are presenting an animated film creating a virtual drive through of our proposed monument. Should we be chosen to carry out this work, we will be contracting with a landscape architectural consultant to carry out our landscaping design. Workshop leaders in various parts of the world will be given stipends to generate the international youth additions to this work. One of our collaborators in this process will be Writer's Block in San Diego that works with spray can artists locally for youth additions to our Garden of Dreams for the future. All technical aspects of the production will be carried out in our technologically sophisticated lab and supported by Spark, with whom we've agreed in advance to assist us in the production of a website and the receipt of the images from around the world. Our concept begins with a site, which stretches 1,440 feet on the 94 freeway, known as the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Freeway. This site, when studied, yielded a number of opportunities and challenges which directed our designing of this monument. The slope in front of the site renders the site virtually unpaintable without risk and costly preparations. This site is only visible via commuting traffic that, for the most part, will be moving at highway speeds. However, daily commuters may see the work repeatedly, and more complexity could be revealed over time with multiple viewings. We have chosen to treat 350 feet of the site, the size of a football field, rather than the whole site given the budgetary limitations. We also have selected the highest point of the wall to place our monument, which is composed of three 30-foot laser-cut steel images. Our laser-cut core 10 steel murals will be allowed to turn to a nut-brown patina, thereby averting the need for restoration of a painted surface, which, with the accelerated damage of the moist and salt-laden atmosphere of the San Diego region, we have determined not to be a viable long-term option. Any vandalization or abrasion of the surface can be removed with water blasting and no further painting or repair required. The color will return naturally. Our approach will create a monument that will not need restoration for many years to come. We are creating three laser-cut steel murals to represent the important aspects of Dr. King's work, racial equality, economic justice, and peace. The first is the Montgomery bus boycott image. This image represents 382-day boycott of the segregated buses of Montgomery, Alabama, in which more than 40,000 people walked rather than acquiesce to the indignity of segregation. Rosa Parks was prominent in this action, and Dr. King began his commitment to civil rights through this historic boycott, now celebrating its 50th anniversary. The image represents the range of community members who participated and the period in which it occurred. Walking down that old Lawson Road. The second image is of Dr. King. In the central portrait, we represented Dr. King as a preacher. Dr. King's father was a Baptist minister, as was his grandfather and his great-grandfather. Therefore, Dr. King was a third-generation preacher, born only 60 years outside of slavery in Atlanta. King's arms are outstretched in this image. His hands are raised upward in a famous stance of the evoking orations for which Dr. King was so widely known. Of the many ways Dr. King could be depicted, we chose a view of him in action, calling the people to act for social justice, building with his words the dream. The third image is of the Selma March to Montgomery, Alabama, staged for black voting rights in the South in 1965. We must come to see that in the end, what we seek is a society at peace with itself, a society that can live with its conscience. That will be a day, not of the white man, nor of the black man. That will be the day of man as man, Martin Luther King, Jr., 1965. In this image, the youth lead with a joyful stride, followed by their leader. Behind them are a group of workers representing Dr. King's focus on the issue of economic justice for the garbage workers of Memphis, where he will die after his famous speech, I have been to the mountaintop. If the sculptural works evoked the memory of landmark events that transformed the quest for civil rights through victorious outcomes, then the garden evokes dreams for the future and as such engages future generations from around the world to add their images to the garden of dreams for the future while grounding the monument in the past. The landscape element of this work is the element representing peace and is extremely important as the garden in front of the giant laser cut work represents the living legacy of Dr. King. The garden is a space for the future of the great issues of Dr. King's time and perhaps ours, racial equality, economic justice, 
and peace. We shall employ zero scaping techniques, selecting low water, low maintenance plants such as succulents and inert materials such as concrete, wire mesh, contained stones, gravel and shaped concrete. Images of children's drawings on peace and justice exemplified in the life of Dr. Martin Luther King will be solicited from around the world and received through the internet in Sparks Digital Lab by its UCLA students. The selected images from each country will be added to the garden by incorporating the children's images in sandblasted stone, likening Egyptian hieroglyphs in stamped or sandblasted pavers and color garnishes with natural materials. In the landscape, a series of geometric patterns will be placed in the ground to lead the viewer's eye to the larger representations of these three important concepts of Dr. King's legacy. Surrounding Dr. King in the landscape is a preacher's clerical stole in red. These landscape patterns are not random, but are derived from kuba cloth, a laboriously woven raffia textile befitting of a king. Woven first by men, then knotted communally by women from the Kasai region of the Congo, the geometric symbols are improvisational and recall an emphasis on the offbeat in African music, which is replicated in American jazz and jazz improvisation. In a sense, it is a symbol of not following the predictable course in one's life, but choosing your own path without abandoning tradition. We've got some difficult days ahead, but it really doesn't matter with me now. Some difficult days ahead, but it, but it really, really doesn't, doesn't matter, matter with, with me now. now. Because I've been to the mountaintop. And I don't mind. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over, and I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord.